y'all. Welcome back to Velk and Cook. Um, I hope that you're enjoying your day. Uh, peace and blessings to everyone. Today, I'm going to do a um, one of my versions of just a quick smoothie. And I like a lot of stuff in my smoothie, right? So I put whole lemons. Um, I cut up an entire, um, an entire beet, about a medium sized beet. Yeah, I know. Some people say that's excessive, but I think that is good when it's incorporated with a bunch of other fruits um, and fiber to, um, you know, just help keep you flowing properly. <laughs> At least that's what beets do for me. They help me flow properly. Um, so I have organic lemons and I put an entire lemon in. But let me start. Let me uh, kind of back up. So, um, I make these smoothies, I make them, and they last usually about four days. Um, I drink a whole glass, and it's so that I can replenish, you know, all of the minerals in my body, as well as um, get out all of the toxins in my body. And so my base for that is about a half a cup of ice, a whole cup of oat milk. Um, already in here, I have a little bit of agave nectar, I have um, a whole lime, and then the other half of my lemon. So right now, I'm gonna cut up my beet. And beets are so good for you, y'all. Beets are so slept on. They really are. They're really good for your blood circulation and your blood pressure. That's why a lot of people start to incorporate beets in their everyday diets. Yep, a whole beet. I oh, know. Whole beet. Whole beet. <laughs> so these are the rinds from my, my line. And what I'm also going to do, and by the way, my hands are clean. Um, I always make sure that I thoroughly wash my hands. Um, and the solution that I wash my hands in is a hand soap solution that I add uh, peroxide to and a little bit of baking soda. And what that does is it kills the bacteria, the extra bacteria that the regular soap just doesn't get off, for me anyway. Um, these are organic blueberries, they're beautiful. Um, I've already cleaned these, I've cleaned the container. My cleaning method uh, for my fruit is a little bit of Himalayan sea salt um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of baking soda. And what that does is it takes all of the bacteria, the pesticides, the debris, the grit off of your fruits and your vegetables, because I do that for both. I let them soak for about 10 minutes, um, depending on the fruit or the vegetable, more delicate fruit, um, about five to seven minutes. Um, but you get the gist. So I'm not measuring anything either. I just don't measure. I just kind of know, you know, when to stop. Got my big strawberries. These are big, beautiful strawberries. These have been thoroughly cleaned as well um, prior to doing this. And I throw the strawberries in, stems and all. Um, the only time that I don't incorporate um, the leaves um, is if the, well, it's not stems and all, let me not, let me back that up, leaves and all. The only time I don't incorporate the leaves, though, is if the leaves are wilted or, you know, look like they need to come off. Kind of like this one. See that? The leaves look a little bit more brown and decayed, so I take all of that completely off. So I'm going to throw three large strawberries into my mixture. Everybody has a debate about using fresh versus frozen fruit. fruit. My thing is, I like them both. Um, I don't see the harm in either one. Um, I think that they both, you know, coming, bringing them together gets, gives a good combination of everything. So what I do is I get me some mixed fruit and you can get it from any of your favorite grocery stores. 
Mine just happens to be from Walmart. Um, and so I put a little bit of that in there also. It's a fresh bag, so it's, <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute to get the sucker open. There we go. Ooh, there's some good features in there. I might set it now. How y'all doing today? I pray everybody's having a fantastic and blessed day. I do, I do. It's got some mango, uh, some peaches, pineapple, and strawberries in this one. So I got that going on. And then I also have I also have like this big container of um, watermelon and I was able to find a watermelon y'all that still had the seeds in it look at that it looks so good too so we're going to stick Lord we're going to stick a little bit in here because I don't want that to over to spill over so I think that's going to be it for that yeah, that's all the way to the rim. And here's another thing, tip y'all. Use the rind of your watermelon. Eat the rind of your watermelon. Believe it or not, it has a lot of the H2, uh, 3, uh, H3O, that's what I'm gonna say. H3O um, uh, waters in it, and it's so good for you. Um, so start using the rind too. Let's see, and I think that's gonna be it for this one, y'all. Usually, sometimes I'll put in like fiber. I don't know if that's gonna go. Yeah, that's my, that might not go. Sometimes I'll put in fiber, I'll put in uh, chia seeds. I didn't have any of that, so I gotta get some more of that. I also add um, olive oil, turmeric, not a fact. I do want to throw some turmeric off in there. But what I definitely want to do first is get some of this juice of Oolodol. I got a clean glass. Oh, and I got to add my pineapples. So I'm going to get some of this fluid off. Matter of fact, let me just do this. Let me do the smart way. Ah, it's not on. There we go. Woo, baby. All right, so there we go. We got some of that fluid off. And then I'm gonna add a huge hunk of pineapple in that. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I add a huge hunk of pineapple and then I'm gonna come back with this juice. See that? Cause that's some goodness in there. And we want that. But let me add my turmeric. And turmeric needs a binder, and black pepper is that binder. So you want to add your black pepper, about a pinch of it. It needs an activator, rather. And black pepper is the activator for turmeric. Usually I'll add some fresh ginger and fresh turmeric, but I didn't have either. So, I still have like a little bit of powdered ginger left. Yeah, the sucker gets used. <laughs> I use a lot of ginger. I use it in savory dishes, sweet dishes, smoothies, you get the picture. So y'all, then what I do is, I get my top one. Is that gonna go? Yes. I get my top one. I turn my blender to, depending on what your setting is, I put mine on smoothie and I let that you know, go for about three whole minutes. Um, so I'm gonna turn this on and I'll come back and let you guys see the finished product. 